Welcome to our What's New in 2020 series. I'm Ed and I'll take you through Structure System. Structure System was introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2019 and provides a more flexible method to create welded structures with or without the use of complex 3D sketches. Let's review some of the capabilities of Structure System and take a look at several of the enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2020. In this example, the weldment will be defined with just a couple of sketches, an axis and four planes. Primary members can be created in a variety of ways, but now in SOLIDWORKS 2020, the point and length member definition has new options. Members can now be created between pairs of sketch points or chained together to create a series of members along a chain of points. The new up to point option allows you to create members that all converge at a single reference point and the new up to plane option creates members that terminate at a selected plane. The member extrudes in the direction of the reference plane or you can choose a sketch segment as a direction to define the members. As introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2019, secondary members can be added using support planes and for these a different weldment profile will be used. The top of these members needs to align with the selected planes and to accomplish this an alternate pierce point can be selected. Another secondary cross member can be added using the between points method and will define this member to go between the corners. In SOLIDWORKS 2020 primary and secondary members can now be split during creation. Splitting can be done using dimensions, instance count or by selecting a reference such as a face, plane or structural member and for this member we'll rotate the profile by 90 degrees. When you've finished defining the structure system the corner management tool kicks in and allows you to define the corner trims. For the simple corners we'll define a planar trim with full contact to the intersecting member. For the complex corners SOLIDWORKS does a fantastic job of determining the trim tool as well as the trim order for the intersecting members. Hiding the vertical member you can see what a great job SOLIDWORKS did on the corner management. To create the circular structure that was shown in the beginning of this demonstration we need to pattern the structure system. Previously bodies could be patterned to achieve this but now in SOLIDWORKS 2020 you can create linear and circular patterns or mirror the entire structure system. By patterning the structure system you are maintaining the intelligence of each of the members and additional structure systems can be added, referencing the pattern members. This was not possible when patterning bodies. In this example we will add a new structure system to define the perimeter members. These are added using the support plane method between the original structure system and the pattern members and the pierce point will be defined to align to the planes. Upon exit of this structure system the corner management tool determines the corners between the new members and the first structure system and its pattern members and determines the proper trim tool member and trim order. This perimeter structure system can also be patterned to complete the design. So let's summarize the updates for structure system. So within primary members we now have more options for point and length members, support for merging tangent members for curved beams, we can split members on creation and we can pattern and we have mirror support for the structure system. Mm -hmm.